What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today guys, you guessed it. From the title of the video you guys can see that I'm going to be talking about all the mods that I put into my 335. Before I actually start talking about that, I just want to talk to a huge sponsor of this video. Um, so I want to go inside and show you that exactly because uh, you know, it's kind of crazy. I'm just throwing a couple cinematics right now because my family's inside the house and my grandma is irritating. So, anyways, um, so I don't want to, I don't want to show her in video or anything. But basically, uh, a company reached out to me and was like, "Yo, we can tell that you know you you work in the garage a lot. You probably need some drinks. You need something to cool down." I was like, "Think at first, you know, I'm gonna get a sponsor of some soda or something." I was gonna be like, "Oh my god!" So I was like super excited, and they're like, "Yo, we got a fridge for you." I'm like, "Hmm, okay, well, I can hold my sodas, right?" And then I was thinking, eh, that's, uh, "That's not a bad idea." They're like, yeah, we got a fridge that can hold 126 or 128 cans. I'm like, that is crazy. Okay, yo, what's up? Link to me the page. You're like, yo, you want this fridge? You just want to, you know, just all we ask for is an honest review. So I was like, all right, you know what? Honesty is my number one. So as you guys can see from the fridge, I put my pretty much just water, pretty much for the most part, because I drink water more than the soda. I put the soda there just for those off days when I have friends over. It's very nice quality. So shout out to them for the quality wise. So I have it inside right now. I want to test it out inside. I don't want anything happening to it in the garage because I'm working all the time. I don't want to have any, you know, uh, imperfections happen to it because, you know, when you're working on cars, you might set some things over, might get a damage. I don't want to damage it just yet for this video. But so far, the quality is very nice. Then the inside of the fridge actually has some lights so you can actually project all the drinks that you guys have inside of it. It's really nice. The handle is super clean looking. It just when, when using the fridge, it just feels cool. So that's the upsides. The only thing I'm just not a fan of is that the fact that I'm pretty sure all fridges are like this, but every like 30 minutes, it kicks in for about like, or like every 15 minutes, it kicks in for a little bit and it makes this kind of loud noise. You know, it's like mm, everything, you know, a fridge, what a fridge does. But I guess that's, that's that's that. I mean, there's nothing else you can do about it. I mean, it's not like you can buy a silent fridge, or if there is, I'm sure that's crazy expensive. Unlike this one. So this one, you guys, if you guys want to check it out, it's in the link in the description. Um, I put, I'm gonna end up putting it in my garage as soon as I get rid of this uh, treadmill thing because you know your boy has a gym membership now. So yeah, that's probably gonna be set over there. So when we're working, we can grab some drinks. Um, and you guys will always see it on the channel, which I'm super excited about. Shout out to the for sitting out of fridge. I mean, I did not even think about that. But, you know, I was like, yo, you know what? We're working on the garage here. You know, my mom helped me out. We're working on a couple things. We're trying to make this garage something that we can into something that will make our lives easier. So, shout out to them. But, yeah, honest opinion, good quality. Just don't like the noise so much. But everything else is amazing. The light makes the, the thing just fun to use. And it holds so many drinks. I have over, I think, like, I think like two packs of 24 bottles of water. It's like 48 bottles of water right now. And uh, I think I have, like, 40 cans. So that's crazy. Um, so it holds a lot of water, holds a lot of cans, or you can just put 126 or 120 cans, whatever. It's real. It's pretty cool. So without further ado, uh, let's stop talking about fridges because this is a car channel. Let's go ahead and start talking to the 335. All right, guys. So I finally found a little clean spot around here that uh, nobody's really around, which has a Civic over there. But anyway, I want to show you guys what kind of mods we put up in this car. There's a few things that we just kind of like, like just made it look nicer, and there's a couple other things we actually. Um, added to make the car look better, to perform better. Those of you guys who are asking where I got my lip from, my spoiler lip from, my steering wheel, all that kind of stuff, I'll have all those links down in the description. So if you guys want any of the things that I have on my 335, just check out the links down below. So coming over from the front, this is a 2008 pre-LCI. We ended up going with an LCI hood and an LCI front M Sport bumper. So it's an M Sport bumper and this is an LCI hood. So this is a pre-facelift, as you guys can see from the headlights, uh, but we made it you know, uh, uh, an LCI version, which looks, I love the LCI look a lot more. We're swapping out the headlights in the new future, but just not yet. We're coming down here, we have blacked out fog lights, and you can see a couple imperfections, you know, whatever, that's that's life, that's wrap, that's the wrap life, you know. Um, we got the M Sport carbon fiber uh, splitters on both sides. So slightly, you guys can see back there that it has a red air scoops. That was made, uh, that was sent out by one of you guys. Uh, I have his link, link down to the shop. He has an eBay account, he sells custom air scoops, uh, he 3D prints them. So it's pretty unique, he sells them really cheap and they work great. So if you guys want these air scoops for the low, I'll have his link down below as well. So that's pretty much wraps it up for the front end other than the mods and the stuff like that I have into the engine. Um, let me just show you guys all the aesthetic things first and then we're getting into the engine bay, tell you guys what I have in the engine bay exactly. Coming around to the side, we have M Sport side skirts uh, by yours truly, Keys Motorsports. These side skirts fit really well, unlike the eBay ones I've gotten in the previously on my 330i. 
For those of you guys who are OGs, I bought some side skirts for my 330i and they were terrible. So don't mind the mess or the rain, uh, cause you know, it was raining. I did the best I could. We have an M3 steering wheel that I uh, put the regular paddles on because the DCTs are on my 330, but these, this is an M3 steering wheel. We ended up swapping the interior out of my 330i and swapping the trim out of my 330i. So this is the brown saddle sports seats uh, with the aluminum trim. So that's pretty much for the inside, not really much to it. Uh, we also did upgrade to LEDs instead of the old yellow lights in there. I don't know what they're called, but anyway, uh, wheels, we didn't really do much. I do have some center caps coming in. It's super dirty right now, as you guys can see. Really dirty. Uh, but we did paint these black. I just haven't cleaned them in a little bit, as you guys can see. Uh, the center caps are coming in. We'll work on that. I haven't got any rims on this car. I don't really know what my plans are for rims and down the road because wheel setups are very expensive. And I know you guys would rather see builds than wheel setups because if I get some, you know, I get some coilovers, get some wheels, the car will look great. But you know, that's like two videos compared to a whole nother build and way more content for you guys. So, you know, it's just right now, it's outweighing the, the you know, the, the differences. Coming to the rear, we have an M Sport bumper as well, sent out by Keys Motorsports. We have a muffler delete with some blue tips that I got. I always, I don't know why, I love the blue tips. It's just something I have in all my cars and that's something I continue to do on all my cars. We have a carbon fiber spoiler I got from eBay. I have the same one I have on my 330i. It's one of my favorite carbon fiber spoilers. It's not too big, it's not too small. It just looks great and the carbon really stands out. So I really like that. And uh, I think that sums it up other than this sticker here that's not really holding up really well for the for the tail lights, but I mean, uh, let me show ahead. Let me go ahead and show you guys what kind of stuff we have in the engine bay. That's the most exciting stuff for 335i owners. So let's check that out. Oh yeah, uh, shout out to uh, I think his. I have his Instagram right here. Uh, he sent out these side markers that are really cool. Let me go ahead and turn them on for you guys to so you guys can see them. But uh, yeah, these side markers were sent out by one of you guys. I have his Instagram right here, so shout out to him. Uh, I never really, really thanked him enough for this. He sent out these side markers that look really, really, really clean. They're like fogged out. And at the same time, they have these three blinker lights instead of one. So during during the night, it actually looks pretty sick. So I really do appreciate him for that. I have a link down to where he got those down below as well. Um, for the grills, I had a subscriber send those out. I keep forgetting his Instagram. For some reason, I always wanted to write it down, but I keep forgetting. These are just painted black, so nothing special. But yeah, that's pretty much the exterior of the car. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Show you guys the interior real quick. I mean, the, the, the engine mods real quick. All right, guys, and here is the beast. This is my 335. Um, we have all kinds of things going on over here. We have ECS tuning strut bar that they sent out to me, so shout out to them. Um, we have an MSC something catch can that we installed in the previous video. Um, I still need to figure out a way to mount this to make sure it doesn't hit any of the metal because it is making some weird noises and I don't like it. So we gotta figure out how to mount this thing because it's not sitting correctly. I'm not gonna link this actually guys, I'll link a proper one from Burger Tuning. This one um, has some fitment issues, like the, this hose didn't come long enough. This other hose came like this long, but this one didn't come long enough, which is, I, I don't understand. So don't forget about this. I'm not gonna link this one down in the description, but yeah. We also have some cow filters from Burger uh, Burger Tuning. I love how these cow filters sit. It, get, it gets rid of all of this junk right here. Um, so like when I wanna work on the engine bay, I just, I mean, if I wanna work on the engine, I just pop up this thing and you know, I'm good to go. So yeah, cow filters is a must. It's honestly one of the first mods I would do and it's really cheap. So that's like the first thing I would do to my 335 if I have one or any BMW in that matter. All right, and we also got some Burger Tuning cone air intakes. We have the dual intakes. Yeah, not, not really anything special. Just looks nice and sounds good. Right here we have, I believe, a Phoenix charge pipe with a tile blow off valve i don't know if this is like or like the the real blow off valve but it sounds great so i love this blow off valve and then i have yeah the charge pipe down here uh this is from burger tuning so i'll link this down in the description and this is from ebay um these blue lines i found them on ecs tuning they're just thicker and uh you know I, I honestly love them it took me a hard time trying to find these but i love them they just look really cool with the flow so you guys can see like there's two on this side there's two on that side it just makes the flow look super nice um so yeah i got some more over here um, we got one going through here. I still gotta get another one coming through here. I haven't done that one because I ran out of line. Uh, and then the last thing here, if you guys come in a really low angle, is the Burger Motorsports uh, intercooler. I got this from them. You guys can see it's a little bit, yeah, you know, it's got rock chips all over it. That's kind of normal, kind of faded out my paint, but still looks sick. And I love this intercooler. I mean, I haven't really tuned the car yet, guys. The car has not been tuned, unfortunately. Um, I do have some plans for this car, but at the same time, if I tune it, uh, I'm not financially stable to afford new turbos, and I don't want to set down the car for a little bit and uh, not have any videos for you guys. So I'm trying to take this responsibly, and I'm not gonna tune it just yet. Um, we'll see what the plans are for the car. But yeah, it's a beast, it's a monster, it has everything. Uh, car is running very, very, very smooth and it has, uh, you know, the temperatures are staying very low from all this stuff without actually tuning it. So yeah, other than the wrap, guys, 
that's pretty much everything I have on this 335. It's a lot of things, um, but yeah, I, I, I love it. It's worth every penny I put into it. And I'll tell you guys how much everything costs and how much this rebuild costs uh, in the you know a future video. If you guys wanna know how much I actually cost me to build this car um, after getting it from Kofar, I, I bought it for $2,000, so that's the thing I will say. That's how much I got the car for. If you guys wanna know how much I put into it, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know if you guys want that down in the comment section, and uh, yeah, I'll give that to you guys, because uh, to be honest, the prices for this car was insane, how much I spent on it, and uh, like in a good way. And it, it, everything just, just worked out, God bless, and I love you guys so much for that. Without further ado, if you guys wanna see more of the 335, just let me know, and uh, yeah. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.